In this video, we'll show you how to set up the AAT for remote configuration using the onboard RJ45 Ethernet port. The first step is to ensure that the wireless support is disabled, since only one of these interfaces can be active at a time. Let's do that now. Go ahead and power on the AAT. You can quickly tell if Wi-Fi is currently enabled by checking the bottom of the left display and seeing the Wi-Fi label. If it is displayed, that means it is currently enabled and we need to turn it off in order to use the RJ45 port. Scroll down to Disable Wi-Fi and press the Select button. Notice that Wi-Fi is no longer displayed. You are now ready to connect your computer to the AAT via the included CAT5 cable. To connect the device using the RJ45 Ethernet port, connect a standard CAT5 cable like the one included in the AAT kit between the front of the AAT and the laptop or desktop computer. After connecting the CAT5 cable from the laptop to the AAT, you'll need to wait about 90 seconds for the laptop or PC to time out and assign itself a default IP address. This time can be minimized to a few seconds by performing some additional configuration on the computer's Ethernet port. Refer to the training documentation at sunsite.com for details. Open a browser window and in the address field, enter the IP address of the AAT. Usually, the IP address of the AAT is 169.254.0.100, unless a router is involved. In any case, the IP address of the AAT is always listed in the left window on the front panel. Enter it exactly as shown, with the periods separating the four groups of digits. Press the Enter key and wait for the home page of the AAT website to display. You should now see the home page of the AAT, and you're ready to set up, manage profiles, and print reports. 